Um, this is Derelict Void. Uh, here's the scene page over here. Basically what's going on is this is coming out uh, March 18th, so we've got a little while before it'll be here. Um, but I got an early look at the thing to see what's going on with this. And it's a, it's a, it's a, we're basically we're like a colony ship. Uh, there's a bit of a story where like, I don't know, there was some sort of like black hole or something blew everything up. And so it's us and a bunch of wreckage and we have the, some surviving members of, of humanity on this ship. And it's our job to go and survive as long as we can. Um, we're going to be going around from, from point to point, kind of FTL style, I guess. Uh, but it's a little bit more like a kind of, kind of base building. You can see there on the little screenshot there. We'll be building places on our ship as we set out into the void. So anyway, I thought we should check it out and, and see what it's about. It is, uh, by Sterling Games and coming out here on the 18th. So uh, let's begin. Um, we suspect that it was some sort of accident. A wormhole collapsed, tearing random objects all around us into some new place. We are now drifting around some unknown star. We are not the only ones here. There are distress signals and transmissions from the remnants of what was the local government. Within our good own good ship, we have just finished patching together what we can and picking ourselves up. We can count ourselves fortunate to have an engine. Supplies are low. All right, so um, quick rundown. There is a tutorial, which is what's trying to give me, but it's just it's just a big wall of words. And I've been through it, so I will um, I will sum up for you, or I, I will throw those words back at you. Uh, we have resources, and really the important ones are food, water, oxygen. The other things, carbon, organics, hydrogen, I think that's all like based on, well, we'll see what they come up later on. Um, wastewater, CO2. This is all stuff that we have on our ship that we can use in some way or another. Um, no, no tutorial. Thank you. Um, we, we, so, and we can see the storage tanks that we have available on each thing. So on my ship right now, the Oberon, we have some gas storage, which holds five tons of gas. Um, and we can see that over here. I've got, I guess it's just oxygen. We have 500 units of, of oxygen. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, we've got a, uh, a residential complex over here. Uh, we've got storage, more houses, and a warehouse. What a ship! You may be thinking that's kind of a weird looking ship, but it actually does have a top. So, um, there's our ship. It's very nice. Nice paint job. Um, now you can see these little ports on the side. We will grow, I guess, at some point. We'll find things out there we can attach onto us and, um, uh, um, you know, um, embiggen our ship. You can see there is a ship mass up here. So the uh, the main goal here is to is to bounce from place to place, pick stuff up, don't die. All right? Understood? Simple. Let's do it. So each time we go, we have a choice of where we want to go. We want to go to a drifting station, which is nine hours away, uh, which is 101 whatevers. We got a frozen asteroid nearby, which has water. We have a drifting shuttle, which is disabled. Uh, and we have a shuttle with a distress signal. There's some survivors there that want, that want uh, help through a broadcast signal. And yeah, we only have 50 hours of food, 42 hours of water, and three days of oxygen. It's all, it's no big deal. Um, I think we're going to go to the, I guess we go to the drifting station first. Um, I don't know, maybe we should go to water. Let's go get some water. Let's go to the frozen asteroid. Yeah, we'll travel there. Nine hours away. Now, the big question is, we don't have fuel. We make fuel out of whatever we have. So we've got food, water, oxygen. We can just turn the, you know, the McNuggets and throw them into the, the gas tank and fly to the uh, the asteroid um, or we can use our wastewater or our co2 and each unit has a different amount of <clears throat> of power so like our oxygen is is very powerful tool so we can use that to pro propel us where we want to go we can also choose how how efficient we want to be we can say uh you know we'll get there in in uh in 11 hours it uses less fuel um uh, but it's 11 hours so you know, um, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to leave it at the middle here. We're going to throw in all the, uh, we're throwing a little bit of oxygen. Doesn't take much. So we take, um, what's that? 48 units of our 500 units of oxygen. Who needs oxygen anyways? Let's fly there. So away we go. That's our precious, precious oxygen. goes flying out the back of the ship. <clears throat> Is this a Russian dev? I, I don't know who, who, where they're from. I don't know. Yeah, you may think three days is, is not much, but yeah, water and food is even worse. Tell people to stop breathing. Uh, we can go there a little quicker here. Are we going? Um, 
Oh, I was paused. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we're good now. Uh, on approach, it seems that there is a readily accessible ice. It is readily accessible, readily accessible ice on the surface. We do not have the proper equipment for mining, but we could improvise. So grab what we can and go. Or we can say we need that water. Spend some time to get it. Um, we have room for water? We do. We have room for more water. Yeah, you know what? Spend a couple hours here. Go get some ice. You slackers. We have two crew at the moment. We got 50 people on board. Uh, your ship looks like a pool table with a rocket engine. <laughs> Managed to collect a bit of ice, but we're forced to stop given dangerous conditions causing injuries. What do I care? Okay, so we got some ice. Which is putting us at 64 hours worth of water. Uh, now we have a drifting junction. The hole seems fairly intact. I might have something useful inside. That sounds like something I want to have. Station over there. Radio transmission. Let's go. Yeah, let's go there. Um, we're going to throw all the... I don't know if those are used for wastewater or CO2. But I'm going to use it because it seems like it seems like things we have in excess, right? We're we're, in, we're making wastewater and CO2, so we will use it. Hello, white hand of death. How are you? <clears throat> We've arrived at the drifting hole. Let's begin our approach. Prepare to dock. Okay, so we have arrived at our first hole destination. Once you arrive, once you accept the arrival report upon. A you can read this. I can't read it. <laughs> Upon reaching your destination, you will have the opportunity to select which segment and port of the ship you would like to dock the new hole to. So once we get in here, basically, we're going to come in we can, and we can search the place. Um, we can, you know, toss it away if we want, or we can bring it in. Um, yeah, I got it. I got it. This is how the tutorial works. Um, and so, yeah, I understand. I understand. Understand. Okay, I've got it. Okay, so we're going to throw this thing on to wherever we want. We'll put it up front here. Seems reasonable. Um, and then we can come in here and we have to go and explore this place. Got some liquid stores looks like over there. So let's go take a look. We're going to spend some time here. We got mm, food's a little low. And what we can do is now that we've found that, looks like we've also found a calorie synth. Ooh. Oh. You're going to take oxygen, you're going to take oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen and turn it into food? I like the sound of that. Let's look at that. Uh, now this guy over here, we can we can turn it on. I think we can move it, crank it on. I believe maybe we have to explore the whole thing, and then we can move it. If we wanted to, we could toss it onto our existing ship, or we can just leave this thing on us. Now um, it is um, it is increasing our mass of our ship. So rotate, relocate. Oh, there it is, relocating and salvaging building parts. Yeah, got it. Salvaging for things. That, okay, got it. So, okay, now that we've explored the whole thing, I guess we can do that. So this guy, this calorie synth, I think it sounds like something that I want. We can salvage it. We can. I want to take it. So let's take this guy and toss him over on my side over here. We can, like, Tetris this thing in here. Like, right there. Yeah. Pop that over there. It takes a few hours to get that thing done. We are actually getting very low on food. Um, which is, we're going to be getting that thing cranked up, though, right? In three hours? Maybe we're okay. We've got some a warehouse we can explore, some rubble, some rubble, some gas, and some rubble. I kind of feel like maybe we, can we go somewhere as that's happening? Maybe we should get to. There's no food. Offering emergency supplies, 17 hours away. Uh, I don't know about the engine upgrades if you can get those upgraded or not. Oxygen, carbon. I think we're gonna go to the asteroid cache, 17 hours away, and we're gonna speed our way there. As fast as we can. And we're going to use all of our CO2 and wastewater to get there. It's a lot to get there. Um, that's a long way. I don't use my carbon. We're going to use that for um, for making food. Uh, this seems kind of like a bad idea. So we're going to speed away and spend basically all of our resources. <laughs> this is this is great. I can't make more oxygen. I got 35 left now. It's going to put me down to like less than that. You're right. I'm not very efficient. We could make this thing a little better. And go down to like 321% efficiency. But that's that's 24 hours away. Um, so that only takes a little bit. We could actually get there on just our CO2 with that. 
Let's do a little bit of that. Oh, a little more. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's travel. We're still doing that, right? I hope. Oh, I'm paused. Yeah, that's still happening. Reposition this thing. Okay. So it's here now. Can I... No, is it working? Is that on? Is that... Is it... Which one's on? Okay, so that's on. It has two out of three parts. I'm not sure what that means. What do you mean by that? Do I need more parts for you? I don't want to salvage you. Okay, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, let's just rummage through the warehouse. And see if we can get a little bit of food. Because if we run out of food, we're dead. But I don't think this thing's happening. Hmm. You need two out of three resources to make this happen. You think so? Well, how do I make it work? Maybe I need a crew to do it, and they're exploring the warehouse instead. Um, I can't cancel that. Food. 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 Organics. Okay. Pause. Are you working? I would like more of this. Please. Please. Because we're not going to make it. We have two hours of food left. Uh, explore that. And I think we did. Uh, well, on our way to this destination, the sensors fly up with an object on close intercept course with us. Uh, ignore it. We died. <laughs> Salvage part from our house. Maybe, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I didn't. Get, I missed that part. Uh, all right. Well, we went as far as a kid. So, yeah, so much for humanity. All right. We're trying it. I, that's what it seemed like. It seemed like I needed repaired. Um, let's try this again. No, no. I don't need. Maybe I should have used more tutorials. All right. <clears throat> we got this okay this time. There's a floating hole out there. I like the sound of that. It's got a CO2 scrub part detected. Oxygen. Let's get it. Uh, we're going to take it nice and slow, I think. Nice and slow. It's going to take our CO2, turn it into oxygen. Sure. Um, here, you can have a little bit of little bit of hydrogen in there to get you going, too. You can't resort to cannibalism? Yeah. Ridiculous. <clears throat> so two or three parts you needed. We had all three resources. It sounded like it needed... Um, Something else, like another building. That's what it sounded like. Because we've got a... Maybe it needed some sort of... Um, like a gas storage unit. Which we had one on the other one, though. Why oh, we have gas storage? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's unpause and go to the floating hole out there. And not die this time. Shall we? Okay, rush the hole. Hole's contents give a damaged CO2 scrubber. Attach. Uh, over here this time. Okay. Hello, CO2 scrubber. I'm going to search you. It does say question mark out of three parts. Maybe maybe we need multiple CO2 scrubbers. Like this one has is a CO2 scrubber, but it only has so many parts. That might be what we're looking at here. Yeah, so it has two of the three parts of a CO2 scrubber. <clears throat> I think is what's going on. Take that. Uh, I'm going to move this thing over. I'm going to take it. Um, over there. We'll spend some time here. I guess we don't need to spend some time here. Hey, Andy! Andy! How's it going? Yes, we got some organics at the warehouse. Okay. Thanks again, Andy. Uh, I, uh, I don't need the warehouse, so I'm gonna so sift through the residential complex. We should be, we should be flying. I'm at 11 hours of water. I wasn't watching that at all. Um, <laughs> let's fly. Oh, that makes too far away. Um, we need water. Water, 14 hours away. So we gotta get there in 11 hours. Preferably less than 11. 
We'll get there in nine hours. And we're going to use everything we got. Everything we can. Okay. Let's get there. So I'm guessing what it means is I've found two... Well, wait a minute. It's getting a, a buff being there. I think, I think what it means is... So I think I need another CO2 scrubber. That's what I'm guessing. <clears throat> I'm guessing. Okay, Resolution Complex has been explored. So it's just a freebie. Uh, let's take a look at the gas storage, which I should, probably should be... Well, maybe some rubble. Let's look at the rubble. Two hours. Plenty of time. Is it done? Okay. Okay. Okay, we've made it. Nothing remarkable except the presence of water. Get that on board. 360 water and 16 people. Can we just leave the people? Okay, so we've got... We need we need more food. Uh, pause. Uh, we want to go. We got four hours until we're out of food again. Look, I'd really just like to eat people. Trollis's parts, um, unknown, distress. Twenty nine. We got to go there. We got to be there in less than four hours. So we got to get there. We're not going to make it unless something pops up on our way there. We're not going to make it again. We're going to die again. <laughs> uh, I'm out of food again. Man, this game's brutal. Okay, we, we, we can we can search the gas storage. Like that's gonna find us anything. Maybe there's some food bits in the gas storage. Okay, pressure, oxygen, great, and we died. Okay. Next time, we only take people on board this ship if they are okay with eating um, rust. Or, uh, is there, like, an easy mode? No. <laughs> okay. This time. This time we do it. Okay, I'm skipping that one. I think I've got it figured out now. We'll see the next one that comes up. I'll, I'll read better. All right. Man. This is dirty. Uh, let's go to a unknown drifting object. Unknown resources. We don't have a ne necessarily need something immediately, so... I guess we're gonna go... Man, I don't know. Is it, is it wise to go slow? Ten hours? Let's just do this. We'll we'll go on what we can with what what CO two we've got. We can almost make it there just on what CO two we've got this way. So let's just throw a little hydrogen in there, and let's go. A nice, easy, um, oh, a gentle romp through through space. Let's make it to our unknown drifting object. Hey, the new boss. How's it going? Uh, we see a, uh, a cargo container adrift. Secure that container. What do we got? 90 organics. Load it up. And uh, away we go. So we got more organics there. We got food there. Calorie synth parts there to make us more food. That seems like what we want to do. Um, maybe we should just like work on just like stocking up food as much as possible. And fill up our tanks as much as we can. Water's the more of an issue. Um, but we know there's food there. So we're going to go to the eight hours away food. And hey, new village. Thank you very much. The giant cookie fund. Thanks. I, um, I'm kind of leaning on going a little bit faster. But maybe we shouldn't. It's, it's difficult. Let's, let's, go, let's just hydrogen this thing. We got those. Let's use them. I want to get there, get the food, and then get out again to get some water. Because water's in the yellow. Yellow blinking size on the screen means means warning. Military caches of normal uh, are near, normally nearly impossible to detect. However, this cache must have malfunctioned or disarmed as it was pulled into this space. There is still a risk that the tamper protection for these containers is armed. With the right, creden right credentials, the containers can be easily opened. Alternative approach is to jury rig an EMP that should disable any automatic security. Um, let's dig up some working credentials. 40 food. There we go. We've got three days of food now. Um, 
We can burn the rest open for three hours. I mean, it's, it's with us already. It's not slowing us down any. Stick with it. Okay. We watched as there was a bang and a scattering of debris on inspection. We found that the security systems were disabled as intended. 48 food. Excellent. I need like an auto-pause when I'm here. Okay, now we gotta get some, get some water. 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 No water. Hmm. We've got 20 hours of water left. We're going to have to run to a quick one and then go to another one. This one has electronic signals coming from that asteroid. Maybe there's some water. It's only 7 hours away. We're going to make it 6 hours. We're going to use all of our wastewater, all of our CO2, and get there. <laughs> These people never had to drink their own urine. Their own urine. <laughs> As we approach the asteroid, the beacon exchanges handshakes with our automated avoidance system. Well, that's nice. Uh, it's, an autom it's an alarm state. All security precautions have been disabled and should be safe to approach. Okay. Sizable resource cache carefully stored in the shadow of a crater. Loaded up 300 water. Thanks, game. That was sure nice of you. Okay. I'm sorry about all the things I said before. Okay. Now, I'm feeling a little better. We've got some things. Hey, Raven Sword. How's it going? Um, let's go to a drifting junction, shall we? Let's do it. Eight hours away. Let's go. We use all that. Um, I got time. We're gonna we're gonna efficiency this thing. I need a little bit more juice, so we'll put a little bit of um, a little bit of organics in there. Throw some peas in there, and we'll get there in ten hours. Might actually survive this time. Duh, don't say it. Twitch restreams to YouTube, but YouTube doesn't go back to Twitch. Interesting. Thanks, Restream. We've arrived. Let's begin our approach. Okay, so we get a tutorial. Let's read. Let's read. We'll read this together. Okay, so, so we know how to dock it. Understood. So, once it's there... Reposition. Got it. Detach. Yep. Adds mass. Understood. Auto-explore. This button enables our crew to explore all building. Got it. Then we explore things. Um, the enable auto-explore button will enable our crews. Got it. Um, assigned to build, building and hole actions. We can be viewed at the top of the screen. We have two crew available to begin with. There are more than two building uh, actions queued up under active events. The third action will be appear, but not have crew assigned to it. Okay. Crew is injured. You'll be able, unable to assign the crew from recovering from energy. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it. All right. It's all a mystery, I guess. We're going to go um, up there. Because then we look cool. See? Even cooler. Okay, uh, well, let's go over here and, and get some exploring done. Oh, thanks, Dude Village. Um, let's go and explore. Can I say auto? I could explore this thing, right? Auto explore this? Yeah. Explore that. Uh, while we're exploring, we might as well be flying. That's why I was, let's throw a screen up before, I think. So we have survival equipment 26 hours away. Man, we're out in the middle of nowhere. 26 hours. I guess the next thing on the list is going to be water and oxygen. There's water there. 27 hours away. Let's go for the... Man, I don't know. Let's go to the station. There's organics there. Maybe there's something else there. Oh, no. It's only three more hours to get the... Let's go here. Um, oh, so we can go super no efficient or super very efficient. 36 hours. So once we get there, we're done. So let's make it like 26. That's, that was the middle, right? Uh, we use all that. Use all that. Hydrogen is, is very uh, good at making things go. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. So while they're exploring, we're flying. Yeah, that button took quite a bit. This hole is pretty big. So if I say we search this thing, once we get it searched, we... Um, do we oh, I think once we get that thing searched, I think we um, we dump we dump it. Okay, what do we got? Rotating building, salvaging parts. Here's the one we want. Okay, I understood that part. Is our salvage... If we desire to salvage building parts and transfer them to an identical building... But not enough parts. You can do so by selecting the building you wish to salvage by transferring parts. So is there pictures? 
Select building to salvage parts. Select building to transfer parts to. Okay. I get it. Building parts cannot be salvaged and transferred to a different type of building. For example, if you salvage electrolysis plant parts, you can only transfer the parts of another electrolysis plant with not enough parts. Understood. Thanks, tutorial. Okay. Patchman, what would you find? Organics and some carbon. Okay, fine. Uh, that's not what I wanted, but I understand. Um, so we got one of three water treatment plants here now. We want more so we can take that one part and throw it into a different... I get it. I understand. Okay. Now, this should be auto-doing it, right? Yeah. So, I uh, I will go ahead and move this thing over to my to me, I think. Might as well. Pops right in there real nice. Uh, it's going to take a little bit for them to do that. But as we're waiting for that to happen, let's fly... Can I not fly? Travel? Is it because we're doing other things? Uh, let's cancel that then. Oh, never mind. Some rec um, recently, some members of the crew have been sharing transmissions we have picked up from other ships. Sometimes the content of these messages are disturbing and shocking. It's possible these messages like this could trigger a panic or general trauma. On the other hand, not all news is bad out here, and communication with other ships helps keep hope alive. If we ban communication, people will not like it, but it might prevent unpredictable effects. Um, no, you know what? Yeah, if you want to yammer to people, you go right ahead. Okay. Am I still in flight? Is that what's going on? Yeah. Okay. What'd you find in liquid storage? You found some water. Good. Good. That's... Are we full on water? No. Okay. Uh, now they're moving on to some more rubble. Okay. So water treatment is there. It's nearby a uh, warehouse, which it likes. Um, but we can't use it because we need two more parts. And they're busy exploring things. I need like a better... I guess this is... I guess the bar is sort of my symbol of, of pause, but I'm not good at seeing it. Rubble complete. Rubble complete. What does that do for me, though? Is that giving me stuff? Get some oxygen. So just finish that. There's a gas storage there. That might give us some oxygen. Pull through. Hey. Okay, yep. Hydrogen. Not what we want. Are we almost there yet? Rubble, rubble. Um, what's that? Liquid storage. Okay, more liquid storage. Need oxygen. Okay, more water. We got lots of water. We have no gas, though. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to... We could take this stuff and put it on my my ship and then leave. We'll be there. We'll see, we'll see what we find here in two hours. Well, we got, might as well do something. Let me move... Um, so I oh, I can't reposition these. I can only do the ones that are... This thing? What does powering it off do for me? Anything? Mass doesn't change. I don't know what that does for us. Okay, communications was greeted by this automated storage facility. We, we needed our to, to send our team to physically investigate. They report they can press a big green button that says request supplies. There was also a door that reads authorized personnel only. Um, we'll push the button first. Oh, hey. Okay, food, water, oxygen. Uh... They press the button. A large box comes out of a hatch. Well, that's handy. Now we can hack the door, or we can sabotage the door. If we have the option, we'll hack it. Crew tries to hack the door security and pass an authorized personnel as authorized personnel, which initially seems to work. After a couple minutes hoarding out water containers, a security robot arrives and scares the crew back to the craft. Okay. That worked somewhat. Okay, so now let's go find some oxygen. We got oxygen 15 hours away. I like it. We have to go there. We were pretty good on everything else, though. Okay, let's travel there. It's, it was 15 hours away, right? So we got to get there. Um, we're not in a, a big hurry. We want to get there before our time runs up. We'll get there like at 20 hours, which is kind of close. But that's okay. That's what we do. Okay. 
a series of transmissions circulating the ship. Apparently, there is a team of researchers who claim to have been working at some sort of black site who say that the sudden event has that pulled us here was actually the result of some sort of testing accident. Okay. I don't care. Okay, so we got 16 hours to get there. Um, yeah, I guess these things are have to stay here unless I want to just dump them off. Wanderlust. I'm debating whether we whether we just dump this thing. We need the storage or anything off of it. We need oxygen. Our tanks are full. I think we'll lose. I think we will lose stuff if we if we get rid of this because we've got the gas and the liquid which we need. We only have one over here. So like these three liquid storage are holding, are holding all. I assume are holding all of my liquid that I've had for my five days of liquid. Um, I, I don't know if that's a good idea because we're, that, that we're holding this. We're using this stuff. Aren't we? Hey, you know, I can't salvage it either, though. If I turn it off, does it change anything? No, I guess not. Okay, let's lose it then. See what happens? Oh, okay. I thought those were counting as storage. They're just useless. Alright. Okay, we have made it. Uh, can it rapidly closes as our shuttles do a burn to intercept. Okay. Could we talk to uh, lose 20 hydrogen? That's fine. The lead shuttle carefully closed in to try to bring the container under control. Attempted to grapple awkwardly glances off the surface. With the window opportunity rapidly closing, the shuttles were forced to call it off and return. What? What? Well, you just hosed me, game. <laughs> I can't wait. What? <laughs> wait a minute. Well, that was my only chance. Yeah? This is the former Gate Colonial Authority. Receiving this message, you are aware that some sort of spontaneous spatial translation event has occurred. We simultaneously announced the formation of a provisional system authority and a state of emergency. Do not panic. Please forward ship manifest and damage reports. We will begin coordination, relief, and rescue operations. Hey, send me some oxygen. We die. Okay. Okay. One more time. Last one. I can do it. I don't need tutorials. I know what I'm doing. So I guess there's no reason, I guess this just holds unlimited, well, not unlimited though, there is a limit to how much of the stuff we can carry. Okay. Um, let's go to, maybe we can get these parts quick. Electrolysis parts, maybe we'll get lucky. We could try that, I don't know, it did seem to work that we went, we went for the big stuff, like the oxygen, food, water quickly. Then we move on to things. Okay, well, let's go get some oxygen. We'll stick with that. Um... I'm not gonna go too slow. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a decent speed here. I feel like maybe we don't need this hydrogen so much. Maybe we'll need it later. Um, we aren't making any more of that stuff. We are making wastewater and CO2. But we'll see. What's gonna happen is we're gonna get that uh, we're gonna get that container to make water or whatever, and then we're not gonna have any uh, hydrogen that we need. Okay, oxygen. Bring it on board. I don't want the people. I don't want the people. Okay, so there's there's oxygen. We got six days of oxygen. Let's go get some food. Eight hours away. I like it. Um, speeding container. We're gonna get there. Well, we'll keep it keep it quick. Dump the CO2. Dump the wastewater and a little bit of carbon. It's a lot of carbon. Here we go. Happy birthday, almost, creator. Container rapidly closes our ships. Um, top off the fuel tanks. Okay, 60 food. Okay. Now we gotta get some water. So, water? 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 No. Um, we got a sensor contact with unknown resources there. We got 22 hours of water. We can get to the quick one, like the shuttle or the asteroid. And let's go to the asteroid. 
They want to give us. They're gonna. We can say these guys. They'll give us hydrogen. Let's go to the asteroid and and maybe we can bounce off and get. Um, we're gonna go there quick. We can bounce from there to somewhere that'll give us some water. I think. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of my oxygen because it's it's extra fuely. Approach the asteroid, we notice an odd pattern of damage on the surface. It appears that an escape shuttle attempted emergency landing and crashed near the dock. No signs of life. We cannot determine exactly what happened. We suspect the shuttle was damaged on approach by lasers that tended to do automatic debris clearing. Only speculate that the shuttle's computer or communication system was inoperable. Approach carefully, transmitting that we are not, in fact, debris. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. Perimeter system allowed us to safely approach. Explore it. We found some resources. Loaded up. We got oxygen. I have so much oxygen now. Okay, we got eight days, because I didn't hit space bar fast enough, to go get some water. There's no water. We're just, we're just doomed on this one. Offering emergency supplies. We gotta go there. We gotta go there quick. We'll get there in six hours to play it safe. Um, We'll do it in seven. We'll do it in six. I don't trust myself. Okay, let's do a little bit of a little bit of we have plenty of oxygen. Okay. Water. We need water. On approach, a beacon pings us to let us know that there is a cash supplies available for emergency use. It is an emergency. Why well, don't want food? <laughs> Just doomed. I, there's no hope. <laughs> there's water. Nine hours away. He's all the oxygen up. Oh, I, I tell you what. And we died again. Hey, Burns, how's it going? Oh, man. All right. I want to try it. Man, what, what time is it? I want to do one more. That Yeah, that that one. I'm going to blame RNG on that one. So, no matter what it is, it's never my fault. Restream. Well, maybe it's Restream's fault, too. Um, to be fair, it still has like two weeks to go before it comes out, but we'll see. <clears throat> All right. I'm doing one more. One more. Tutorials. Tutorials are for chumps. Um, we're going to go and get something. We're going to go the quick water route. We're going to use our CO2. We're going to use a little bit of our... Uh, no, no, we'll use some of our hydrogen. Here we go. That'll work. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, they really throw you in the deep end. <clears throat> so I've also we I have learned now that do not leave the things attached to me. That's doesn't do anything. Airy silence greeted our crew. Nothing but cold, frozen corpses. The water has been found intact, if not frozen. Okay. Hopefully one day we can arrange a proper burial. Just let's eat them. Okay, pause. Don't forget to pause. Um, so we got decent water, decent oxygen. We need more food. Um, I guess that's the next stop. We can go. There's some CO2 parts there for more oxygen, potentially. This is only six hours away. But the chances of us finding anything that's really useful is bad until we find the other stuff. I had nine days of oxygen before. I think I think we stick with, with the basics. Go get some water. Okay, so we get some water. We should name our ship the, the Donner Party. Oberon again. Little 75 people, we got 50 right now on board. We don't want any more. Okay, let's do it. Drop, yeah, get there. 450 water. I will take it. Great flying. Okay, 
Now on to food. We don't have food. Drifting shuttle there. Survivor is there. Um, oxygen there. I suppose we go for the oxygen just because it's close. And we can bounce off it, go get some food. I think maybe it's I'm not sure how wise it is to go slow. Because I've got I've got the um maybe as long as I've got the wastewater and the CO2, we keep it at that. If they're in eight, in eight hours, eight hours is fine. Use a little bit of our oxygen. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, Brig. How's it going? Okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna speed along there. We're gonna nice and easy. If I hit spacebar now, will it pause? Uh, drifting tanks are uh, mostly intact, given a strong oxygen signature. Should still be pressurized. None of these tanks are intended to be connected in a pure vacuum, and with the level of damage, things could go wrong. Most of the tanks have some form of damage. Um, things may explode in our face. We're going to die anyway, so let's just hook them up. It does not pause, by the way. Uh, after a bit of struggle, we managed to connect and drain some of the tanks. However, while attempting to drain the last tank, a pressure safety disc burst, sending shrapnel flying across the work site, causing some injuries. Crews will be disabled for 10 hours. We didn't need them anyway. Um, yeah, I need, I need a pause after this. Okay, so now we got to go get some food. Food detected 11 hours away. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go. Um, we're going to take 12 hours. That's just how confident we are. We go. And away we go. Okay. I think that... Um, I, I think maybe just like starting with a few more resources might make a big difference. Because right now, we don't have the option of, of finding the parts. Because we can't find... Um, we can't find enough parts early on. Um, or if we start with parts and maybe they break down over time, so we have to go and find the bits to fix the ones that are, of ours that are breaking down, that would make maybe make things a little fairer. So his dog, they offer food in exchange for rescue. What do you want to do? Oh, we will forcefully take what we need and send them on their way. <laughs> As we seize the supplies, an emergency distress, distress message was transmitted by the shuttle. We can't expect shuttles like this to cooperate in the future. We got 48 food. That's all we're here for. Only doing what we need to survive. That's right. Okay. So we've got oxygen there, which is our low thing. We have a floating hole with some water treatment parts nearby. Uh, I know we were talking chat before, but I just wanted to let you know that I really respect what you're doing. I'm proud of how far you've come. Thanks, Pizza Guy Mike. <clears throat> I appreciate that. That's very nice. Um, I, see, I want to do this. 10 hours, and then we'll be down to 30 hours of oxygen. We could, I think we gotta, we got to play it safe. I'm not dying this time. We're going to go with the damaged tanks. We're going to go there. Okay. Play it safe. Why can't you just jettison large portions of your population in exchange for morale? Uh... I read that as, as like, to make the people happy. <laughs> Got Jimmy the jerk. Just toss him out the airlock. Everyone's happy. <laughs> Drifting tanks are mostly intact and given a strong oxygen signature. Should still be pressurized. All right, let's do it again. No more blowing up. Okay. Ah, 320 oxygen. So we stop here before we have an accident or keep on going. It's worth the risk. One of our crewmates reports they have found evidence that a giant cache of resources is probably drifting somewhere nearby. They're requesting the use of an, the, of an entire crew to look over sensor data, sensor data in reference to the archived system-wide ship logs. Do it. 16 hours. Go for it. Okay. Uh, we tried to reach... It blew up. Okay, so our, our crew is, is not able to be used, but I... I think maybe it's out of, uh, I don't know. Because they're already being used. Um, food's the next thing. This one is what? An important decision up ahead. Well, I can't resist an important decision. 
Yeah, I'll I'll uh, I'll do that. I'll take it nice and and not too slow. We can't really do anything and we, yeah, we can't do anything until 15 hours anyway. So we'll take it nice and slow. 15 hours is a long time. <laughs> We're not dying this time. <laughs> Pizza guy, I, I I think I recognize... Have you said things before? I recognize your name. Maybe it's another pizza guy, Mike. Or maybe just me, a pizza guy. Maybe I just got pizza on the mind. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why we have 50 population and, and two crew. Put those kids to work. What are they doing on this thing? Just sitting? We're now in docking range of this strange hole. Uh, yeah, bring it in. Let's bring it in. We'll put it right over, uh, right over here this time. Okay, we must, we must pause. What do we got there? A warehouse. Uh, I want you just to auto explore. Okay, Ozymandias. So as soon as they can, they will explore that. There's no, no one's available. So while we're, let's go. Find some food. Fourteen hours away, we got food. Got me into the infinite pit of Dwarf Fortress. I apologize. <laughs> Wait. I see, I see a snarky comment there. You can't expect streamers to read the screen. What's happening here? Important destination, not decision. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Okay, that, that's fair. The crew assigned to research the archives reported that they have yet to find the location of the cache. You slackers! We still have hope. Uh, another 16 hours? Uh, you know what it's going to be like? It's going to be like three units of oxygen or something. No, we need the crew to... Um, oh, really? Yeah, we need the crew. we gotta, we got to explore this thing. Okay. 30 hours of food. What's the warehouse have in it? Hey, it has food. Well, that's all right. On our way to destination, the sensors flared up with an object on close intercept course with us. Well, let's alter. Success! Match velocity to the container perfectly and recovered its contents, and they are quite impressive. Hey, yeah, that's not too bad. Great driving. Okay. Great driving. I don't remember Picard they were seeing that. Uh, we're still on our way to our military cache, so we still got to sit here. Where's the electrolysis thing? Gas storage, anything good here? Um, no. Do we not gain anything out of that? It seems strange that... Does it not just seem strange... Unless these amounts are going up. Like, this doesn't seem to do me any good over here. Oh. Maybe it does. I just missed it. Military cash is normally impossible to detect. Yep, we found one. So we can dig up some uh, credentials or try to burn the security system with two hours of crew time, which we're pretty much there. Um, yeah, we'll do it because we'll do it. EMP. Okay, warehouse. We've got some organics. There's the EMP. Let's go ahead and fly. Oh, we can't because we're busy. Okay, factory, house, um, factory has been extensively modified. Pressure vessels have been attached to piping that leads deeper into the ship. Is this how part of the module is moving? Can we fly yet? No. Okay, there's the EMP. We got 60 food out of that. Okay, now we can go. Um, only one of three parts. I think we just take it. I have to salvage parts and put it into something. So we have, we have to have one of these things already. So we should go ahead and take this one. Slide it in here somewhere. Dev must be a fan of Tetris. Okay, while that's happening, we're going to fly to a important decision uh, over here um, with 17 hours of water. CO2 scrub parts. That's, is that the same thing as... That's electrolysis, isn't it? No, it's water. Never mind. Um, well, I kind of want, want oxygen. 
15 hours away. That's the closer one. This is an important decision or destination, whichever, whichever you want to call it. Okay, let's go there and there. Um, let's go a little bit slower just to save us a bit of, of, uh, of our precious stuff. Oh, the position bonus. Right. It wants to be near... I mean, everything is... Well, I guess you're right. I should have put it over here. Yeah, you're right. Next question team has been reproached. Apparently, the sole occupant is an engineer who was stranded alone during the event. They are responsible for the unorthodox modifications found. While they seem slightly sad at the prospect of abandoning their work, they're hoping to lend their expertise in exchange for rescue. Welcome aboard, buddy. I got another crewman? Got some rubble. What are we finding in this rubble? Okay, so that's over there now. Um, and we can move it again, I guess, if you want to... Well, we might as well. We're not doing anything. I'm, I mean, it's something. Some, there must be something with this. So we have a warehouse. Let's turn the warehouse off. Numbers change? No, no numbers change. I don't know. So I guess, yeah, there's no point in having this. Let's just get rid of it. Get out of here. Okay, so this thing we could scoot over here. Um, probably should. They're not doing anything anyway, so let's set it over. I can't, I'm not sure what the range is. I want to make sure what other things will fit in here. Is that going to be close enough? Find out. Okay. Communications reports say the transmission is using government air emergency system encoding. Gate Colonial Authority. Spatial translation. We've seen this thing before. Okay. We're hey hey, we're alive out here. They're clearly not the bad guys. Okay, we positioned it. Oh, it's not close enough? It has to be touching it? Hmm. Well. Okay. Put it there. I assume it's the warehouse that it wants to be next to. Yeah. Okay. That's done. Asteroid mine. Done. We're arriving right within range of the mining base. Sensors show active equipment. It isn't possible to, to dock. So shuttles must be deployed. Comms reports that there, there are active signals. Meanwhile, we've detected water as expected. So let's go scout it. Find that water. Then we go to oxygen. Okay, cache of water has been located along with a small container of fresh food. Also, a tunnel that is blocked by debris. Incre uh, interestingly, the active signals being picked up are deeper inside the rock. Eight hours. I don't have eight hours of oxygen left. I think we got to take it and leave. It could be something really good here, but I don't think we can risk it. So we've got what we want. Let's get out and go find some oxygen. There is none. So let's go to a quick one. Asteroid cache beacon. Let's go there. We gotta get that kind of quick. And then we gotta go... Hopefully find some oxygen. Hey, Drizzit! How's it going? This thing turns... Oh, it takes oxygen and organics and turns it into... Okay. On approach, a beacon pings us to let us know there is a cache... Supply for emergencies. I got an emergency. I don't want your water. Certain crew members have been privately stashing some of what they find while exploring. Excuse me? Confront them. Confront a crew member. <laughs> it's the future. Everyone has weird names. Quickly admitted to stashing valuable resources. We took them away, but he's obviously going to be slightly upset. He better be. Steal my water. Punish him. Okay. Uh, on to oxygen. 11 hours away. Excellent. Yes. I want to go there. Okay. And I'm going to use some of my um, my carbon. Plenty of carbon, right? We can just... I mean, we can make carbon out of those bodies that we... Out of that guy... Out of um, old um, thief. Make carbon out of him. What's up with the morale here? I haven't seen that one. I haven't paid attention to that. Proposal has been brought forward by the engineer Voidy McV... <laughs> 
Void and Void Face. I told you, it's the future. <laughs> Who we recently rescued. They claim that it's possible to upgrade the engine with hardware that should be possible to scavenge. Our own engineers say this plan is unconventional, but agree that it is feasible. Sensors have been informed of what to look for. We can pull this project off. It will greatly increase the mass we can reasonably travel with. Yeah. Get it, Mr. Voidy. No, there's 50 people on this ship. Only two people are actually working. I know. I'm thinking the same thing. Wait, we were... Wait, what happened? Did I run out of... Wait, did I miscalculate something? I ran out of oxygen, didn't I? I don't know. <laughs> so there's Derelict Void. Um, it's not out yet. It's coming out uh, on... What was the day? By Sterling Games. And it's coming out on the 18th of this month. Oh, it was morale? Morale is what got me that time? Was it? Defeat me. Oh, I didn't read it. I was too distraught. N morale? Hmm. Morale. Um, oh, went through Kickstarter. Okay. Anyway, um, let's play something else.